Hi, I'm Sarah Rossoni and I'm a teacher with the London District Catholic School Board and today I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how you can use bit strips for schools in your own classroom. Um, so the first thing you have to do is go to bitstripsforschools.com. Um, the whole process of registering and setting up your classroom takes about 10 minutes. So I've already registered, I'm going to log on here. If you register with a board email address, um, they usually email you back right away saying that you have a free account since you're an Ontario certified teacher. You can see as the page loads that I have my avatar here, and then here come the avatars of all of my students. Um, while I wait for it to load, Bit Strips for Schools is a really great way for students to demonstrate their understanding of things like um, a text or a story. Um, or some sort of um, historical facts that you've taught them while making it engaging at the same time. So I use this for a 2P English class. Here's all my students. They've created their own avatars. And I went through and did two activities with them. The first was a basic introduce yourself activity. This came right from Bitstrips. They've got um, a plethora of resources that you can use. And I'll show you a couple of the comics that my students use. So they just had to create an avatar of themselves, insert themselves into a scene, and then um, insert a little speech bubble just to get them working with the program. <coughs> the main activity that we used was to take a novel we read in class and turn it into a graphic novel. So I'll show you some examples. <clears throat> Here's a great one here. And you can see as we go through this that this takes a lot more critical thinking and understanding of the text than simply answering discussion questions um, or writing a multiple choice test. One issue that my students did come across was that um, some of them could not create more than 20 comic segments at a time. So to deal with that, I simply created three different assignments for them to hand in, and they just chunked their assignments. Okay, here's another one here. You can see that they had to do really critical reading of the text in order to create the avatars of the characters. Um, they had to insert um, tech, uh, quotations from the text and place their comics into a setting that corresponded with the descriptions from the text. We had a really great time using this program. Um, not all students in my class chose to use it in order to do their graphic novel. Some did it by hand, some used um, PowerPoint, um, but the majority of them did choose to use bit strips. They found it really engaging, and overall we had a really great time with it. 